When you combine the high fiber, carbohydrate goodness of sweet potato with amazing fiery chorizo, then you are on to a winner. This recipe for sweet potato and chorizo soup is a contender for the best soup you'll ever make. Seriously, that may seem like a bold claim, but try it and see if you disagree. Hi, I'm nutritionist Scott Bapte, and in this episode from my high protein kitchen, I'm going to show you how to cook my favorite soup recipe of all time. It's warming, packed with flavor, easy to make, a winner as a starter on Christmas day. It literally is the soup that keeps on giving. Right, go grab your soup pot and your sweet tatties and let's get cooking. Right, first things first, you're going to peel and roughly chop your sweet tatties. We're using about 800 grams. You could use more if you like a thicker soup, but you're going to roughly chop these. It doesn't really matter how small you make them because you're going to blend it all up anyway. Then you're going to get a 200 gram chorizo sausage and you're going to roughly chop about three quarters of it, maybe four fifths, uh, and that's going to go into the soup. And then you're going to finely chop the remaining quarter and set it aside and keep it away from the rest of it because you're going to use it at the end. If you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit that like button, really appreciate it. And then get to work on the onions. Again, don't be too precious about it because you're going to blend them all up. I'm just slicing them because that's the easiest way for me to do it. And then pop them into your soup pot. Then you're going to get to work on the green peppers. By now you're getting the gist of things that we're blending it all up so you don't need to be too precious about it. So just roughly chop them, slice them, cubes, whatever you like. But you're going to do that with two of them and then guess what? It's the same with the carrots. Peel them, chop them, and then you're going to throw all of your veggies are going to go in the pot. Then you're going to fry them for about five to 10 minutes. Use a little bit of cooking spray to stop it sticking to the bottom, but the chorizo should release plenty of oil from it and will help to cook things. Once the onions are looking golden and soft, add your garlic and fry that for a further 30 seconds or so before starting to add the rest of your ingredients. This is going to make you jealous, but I'm using leftover turkey stock from Christmas. Yum beauty. But if you don't have that, you can use chicken or vegetable, it doesn't really matter, and then add in your chopped up sweet potatoes. Then you're going to add in some spices to give it some more flavor. We're using a teaspoon of random generic supermarket mixed curry powder, medium, mild, depending on how you like it. And then a teaspoon of chili powder to just give it a little bit of a kick. Now it doesn't make it spicy because there's so much liquid, don't worry about it. Then pop the lid on it and simmer for about 15 minutes until the sweet potato is cooked through and then soft and then get to work with a hand blender and just blitz the whole thing up. Take your time here and make sure you blend it so it's nice and smooth, you don't want any chunks in your soup. Now remember that chorizo will be set aside, this is when you're going to use it. You're going to fry it off until it gets nice and crispy because we're going to use both the chorizo itself and the oil that is released from it. So cook that for a few minutes and then start to plate up your soup. Then you want to get some of that chorizo that you've just fried and is beautiful and crispy and just spoon it into the soup. Some of it will sink, some of it will float, but you also want to use the oil and you can make some nice pretty pictures and patterns on the soup. It just improves the presentation, as does adding some garnishes like fresh parsley. So there we have it. In my opinion, the best soup that there is. It's certainly my favorite recipe. So I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below, let me know how you find the recipe. And if it's not your favorite soup recipe after you've made it, please do share the one that is because I would love to try and cook that as well. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I'm off to go and eat this. Please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you've not already done so. I'll speak to you later.